everyone! I just, literally, I just got up. I'm wearing my new pajamas, guys! This is so pretty, right? Oh my god, this is so pretty. It's like princess. This is not my type, but somehow, because I'm living alone, I want to wear something pretty, you know? So, I'm wearing these things nowadays. <laughs> what was that? That was not me. That was not me. Today, I'm gonna get ready, and then I'm gonna go out, and I'm gonna do a little bit of tour of the Seoul city. I decided to go Seoul and, you know, just look around, and yeah. I'm just gonna look around and I'm just gonna enjoy the time fully just by myself alone. Oh no, I have to water them. I'm sorry. I was too busy. I'm sorry. What are they? <laughs> okay, the weather today is. Yeah, it looks good. Yes, so I'm still wearing Invisalign as you can see and it's gonna end very soon so I'm very excited so I think only two weeks left yeah two weeks maybe By the way, today's video is sponsored by Function of Beauty and thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I bleached my hair so many times. My hair color right now is black but it used to be like blonde and purple and pink, just so many different colors. Also, I've been using my hair extensions over a year. Over a year! So because of the reason my hair became so thin, yeah, the thickness is very fine. And also, I lost some of my hair. And my scalp became very dry and sensitive. So I cannot use just any shampoo and conditioner. So I decided to use Function of Beauty because with some simple keys, I can make my own custom shampoo and conditioner. My hair is different and your hair is different. Everybody's hair is different. That's why you have to use custom made shampoo and conditioner. So my hair goal is very rich and very natural looking healthy hair that's my hair goal so for the kids they ask me like what are my goals and what's my hair type right now and what are my hair concerns and what kind of fragrance i want to get and what kind of you know name i want to get it here and i've been using them over three weeks and i can definitely feel the change because it's all custom made, it's all for me so it really, I feel like it solves the problems that I used to have I can feel that my roots became much stronger and it became much shiny right now yeah, my hair is shiny and it became a little bit like thicker, stronger I can feel like that and I'm also very satisfied with this function of beauty shampoo and conditioner because it's really gentle on my scalp yeah, it doesn't irritate my scalp at all, like at all. And all the ingredients inside, they are dermatologist tested, so you don't have to worry about it. They were extensively tested with lots of people, internal people. And there's no animal testing, that's really important for me. And sulfate, parabens, they are free, so you don't have to worry about it also. And they are 100% vegan. I love it. So if you click the link down below and subscribe and purchase your first 16 ounce custom made function of beauty shampoo and conditioner, then you can get 20% off. Yeah, that's amazing, right? Also, if you become a member of Function of Beauty, then you can get some benefits such as free shipping. So I highly recommend you guys to become the member of Function of Beauty. I'm very satisfied with the result and I love it. So guys, please click the link down below and check it out. I really want to go out right now, but there is a delivery coming here. So it's going to come around 4.30. So I have to wait till then. So I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do until then. So I decided to just sleep. So let's sleep. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my Invisalign still. So, did I say that? Yeah, in the morning, did I say that? Yeah. It has arrived! 
but this is humongous guys this is humongous and my room my house is just like this big and it's like this big and my closet is here so how can i do it all everything like i just don't get it <laughs> okay let's see guys um oh my god this neighborhood is just so cute just look at this this is so cute right it's like finding like treasures oh my god that's so cute i want to take some photos but it's only me so i cannot really take photos so i heard that this place is really really popular nowadays because they have like small stores and they have like cafe so they have everything here so you can enjoy all the culture so let's go there these are cute Oh, these places oh now i know why here is hot okay oh my god they have some cute dishes oh my god so cute look at that that is so cute this is so cute too it's the ink and the pen Oh, is it German? Is this German, guys? It'd be great if they had like more options, then I could get my scheduler. Uh, here is the soap area. I'm not really interested. So, okay, they have scheduler here. Okay, great. These things are just so pretty. Oh my god, I need that one. This is super pretty. Right? These are so cute. So cute. Oh my god. I need a scheduler, but... Oh, okay. I love it. That's so cute. These are elephants. So I bought some notes, guys and some diary because I have to finish my book so you know I'm writing my book so I have to finish that but somehow with my laptop I cannot really do that <gasps> oh my god this is super cute if you read lots of books then these are gonna be really great everything is so artistic I feel like I'm an artistic person right now <laughs> and if you go down then there is a cafe Oh my god, this coffee is so cute. Do you agree, guys? This coffee is super cute. Oh my god, this one looks so good. Like, so good. Cookies, pie. I love this atmosphere. This is so cute. Okay, so LCDC Seoul was kind of interesting. Yeah, it was interesting. So I bought a few things. And let's go to a thrift store. I've been there already and I filmed that and I vlogged already. But I just want to go there again. Just I want to see what they have there. And let's go. I am not going to buy anything though. I'm just going to look around because i already bought so many things i mean i did some online shopping and then i ordered so many things so they're gonna come in a few days so i have to be just you know calm and i have to save my money so i'm not gonna buy anything but i'm just gonna look around you know do you guys love thrift stores or not because i used to love them so much but nowadays i'm feeling like they are kind of low quality and the price is kind of it used to be really cheap but nowadays somehow they are kind of expensive so i'm like i'm just gonna buy new clothes maybe if they have like really super cute something that i'm gonna buy it <laughs> Ooh, interesting this is kind of 
kind of cute. Is it like there? I love it. This is apron, I guess. Oh my god, this is so cute. Like seriously, it's so cute, but it's twenty dollars. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything interesting today. So let's go to somewhere else. Yeah. Oh my god, this store is so cute too. Oh my god. Should I go in or not? What is this pink place? It looks so cute. I guess this is another cafe and it looks amazing. It looks so cute. One of the things that I really like about Seoul is that they have some great cafes. Not just Seoul, everywhere in Korea. So if I go to like another country, then I'm gonna miss our cafes just so much. Because there are so many beautiful cafes. What is this place? Oh my god, it looks so cool. It looks like a book cafe or something. So here is Songsu Yeonba. And I've been here quite a few times, but I decided to just drop by just to see what they have, you know. So let's see. Oh, they have this stuff. They are cute, you know. Maybe I'm gonna buy one, something like this. I think this is cute. And these things are just so pretty too. Is it like exhibition or something? I heard this is like a flagship store of a clothing brand. I'm gonna go eat here, pizza season. I hope the pizza is gonna be great because I'm really sensitive with pizza. I'm the pizza expert. I think this place is kind of similar to the one in Hong Kong. I forgot the name but it starts with M but yeah I think this Songsu Yeonbang, this area is really similar to that place and also LCD what, what, what was that? I forgot the name but anyways yeah that one too I feel like all these trendy stores nowadays the individual Korean stores like small businesses they are working all together and making those places so everybody like we can enjoy all the different brands and then culture and everything so I feel like that is like a trend nowadays in Korea yeah now I'm gonna go to this cafe it used to be like a big warehouse and then they just changed it into a cafe so it's beautiful let's go inside So artistic, right? We can take this ride wherever it goes. As long as you're with me, I feel at home. Can I usually don't write those things, but I decided to write New Year's resolutions. Yeah, yeah I decided to do that. And you tell me why? Cause I want One. so this is my closet it's yeah it's my closet I used to be a fashion blogger and I love fashion so much you have to see my Instagram it's all about fashion and style and are you kidding me this size are you kidding me seriously so I wanted to you know have like a bigger house but I cannot really afford it so how can I do it so I have to organize them that's the only option so I am not like a Paris Hilton or Kylie Jenner yeah I'm not those people so how am I gonna do it I'm just gonna organize things that's what I'm gonna do yeah so as you can see, it's very messy. I don't know what I have and I don't know where I put everything. I don't really know about it. So I cannot really find anything. Seriously, I don't really know. I don't really... <laughs> oh my god, I really need to do something. <laughs> uh, what is it? Is it my closet? Oh my god, it's so messed up. 
I need Kondo Maria. Please come to my home, Kondo Maria, and do something. Please. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all the clothes here so that I can organize it again. And let's see what I have. I forgot about this skirt totally. Okay, I had this cute skirt. Oh my god, I had it. Oh my god, this is so pretty. I should wear it. Maybe tomorrow? Maybe? Oh, why is it here? It's so ugly. No. Oh my god, I love it. It's so cute, right? I have to wear it with my tank top and it's just so cute. It's my Christmas dress. There was a Christmas party and it's cancelled so I couldn't really wear it so it's still in my closet. Yeah. I have this tweed set. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh, maybe I can wear this one. Well, I bought it. It's actually very, very expensive because I went to Apgujong Rodeo. It's like, it's like Beverly Hills in Korea. So I went there and then I was like, oh my god, everyone is wearing something expensive. So maybe I have to buy one. And then I bought this one the, the, as a set and I've never worn it. I've never, seriously, never worn it. Even I couldn't take a photo because I just felt like it's not me, but I'll try it anyway. I'll try it. There are so many clothes. That's why I couldn't find anything to wear. Oh, I was like, there's nothing to wear, but there's actually a lot. This one is vintage and it's also the quality is not that great. So, oh my God. This is like a nightmare. I love clothes, but this is no. Wow, look at this. I have lots of clothes. Who said I don't have clothes? No, I have lots of clothes. Dang it. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna organize them first. And I have a little bit of magical things here. So now let's do magic because I bought these hangers. And see, it looks different. It's not advertisement, guys. It's not sponsored. I just bought it because I was watching home shopping and then I was like, wow, I need it. So it looks like this. And shoo. What? Okay. Shoo. Like this. Whoa. So it makes more space in this way. I hope so. Okay, it's pretty. It's so pretty. Oh my god, I'm so exhausted, but I feel really good. So yeah, now it's organized. Now I can kind of find, I mean kind of, yeah, not perfectly, but I can kind of find where they are. Um, it took me around like two hours and I had to get rid of some of my clothes because still, still it's too small. I have to move to another apartment for the closet, seriously. How other people here in this apartment, how they are organizing their clothes, I really, I'm really, really curious about it because I'm not a minimalist as you can see. Yeah. So I've done this one and, and actually I am not sure about the hangers. I, I don't really know about it. I don't know if it really makes the space more like spacious or not. I don't actually know about it. <laughs> That's the problem of home shopping. Yeah, I bought so many things. Unnecessary things. Mm -hmm. And I bought some new clothes too. Yeah, uh, so it looks like this and I hope you feel motivated and I hope you organize your room too. Next time, I am gonna really move. This year. Yeah, this year I'm gonna move to like a bigger house. So as you can see for the bigger like puffer jackets, those things, they are yeah, upstairs. Is it upstairs? Yeah. And these are just jackets and pants and some other stuff like t-shirt these are like here and ba -ba! this is the magic space with the magic hangers yeah i used them and i don't really know 
I, I, I feel like this looks messy but it's organized anyway I can see everything so it's black here and white and whatever and dresses here and yeah basically that's it